Hey everyone, Thrallish here to bring you a Minecraft tutorial. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, a 114 really simple easy survival storage system using some of the new items, uh, mainly barrels. Uh, today we're going to talk about a wine cellar. As you can see behind me we have this awesome uh, ruined farmhouse and uh, if we take a venture around back uh, by the way, this is in my survival world, my survival series. It's called Nations, so check it out if you're interested. Uh, go ahead and build all this stuff. Obviously not done with the whole farm here, but down under here, we have our wine cellar, and this is our storage area. Uh, I just set this up recently. It was super duper easy to do uh, using uh, barrels because uh, you can have blocks on top of them and they'll still open, unlike chests. But uh, let's go into a creative world and I'll show you exactly how I did this. So here we are in the creative test world. Uh, what I've done here is under our structure, I've gone ahead and I've dug out a four tall uh, sort of room right underneath the structure. Uh, up there is our foundation of the building. So I just kind of followed the foundation uh, all the way around and then dug four blocks down. And then I just put some lanterns down. Now this here, don't worry about it, that's just part of the structure. Um, in the house here, our floor kind of dips down. So that's all that's doing. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do in here is uh, put a floor in. And what I've done is I did kind of an alternating um, oak log pattern. Uh, you don't have to do this, you can do any floor that you really want to. But um, I always thought that this uh, this pattern always looks so cool. So I figured, whoops, I would give it a shot here. Uh, I'm putting these in here just to show you exactly how to do it. So essentially what's going to happen is where you have the end of the log here, uh, you're going to want to place the log this way. So now the end is over here, if that makes sense. Uh, so what we're going to do after this, after we get them all put in here, is we're going to grab ourselves an axe and we're just going to right click on all the logs and this is the greatest noise Minecraft has to offer. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do the entire floor. Um, once you get to uh, the end location right here, you're obviously going to want to switch off to the uh, full oak wood itself and just continue to follow that pattern. And the reason for that is we don't want that uh, bottom oak log texture hanging off the edge there. So let me finish the rest of the floor and I'll be right back. All right, it's looking better in here already. Um, I really just, I love the way stripped oak look, or the, excuse me, the stripped logs look. And this one here definitely looks more rustic, like uh, it's been walked on a lot more. And the pattern just is super neat. Uh, so next, uh, the most important part of a storage system is what do you want to store where? So my thought process and my idea is when I come into this storage system, okay, when I'm doing stuff out in the world, I'm going to run down here and the most important things that I want, I want easily accessible, all right? So things over here, that's kind of what I want. So what I did here is uh, I kind of just put some barrels, um, oop, you got a shift click there. Uh, I put some barrels here um, for my stone products. Uh, I think I put another one up there and one up there. So that way when I come in, I might have another one here as well. When I come in, this is my stone bricks. These are my mossy stone bricks. My cracked stone bricks are up here. My cobblestone is here. The stone itself is actually right here. Um, and then mossy cobblestone right here. All right. So you have to think when you're creating a <clears throat> storage system, exactly where everything is going to go because things need to be easily accessible, right? You don't want to come into your storage system, have to run all the way over here for all of your most needed blocks and then run all the way back down to do your thing, all right? You need all of your most needed blocks right in front and center. Because this is our stone area, I thought it was a good idea to put a stone cutter in as well. Um, doesn't really make sense for a wine cellar, but at the same time, you're gonna need it. <laughs> uh, also, another thing, having crafting benches around in your storage area is a really good idea, so that way you don't have to come over here, get some stone, come all the way over here, do something with the stone, and then head out. You know? So one of the cool things with a wine cellar, especially with these barrels, is that you can kind of just put these barrels in the wall, and they totally look like they should be there. 
So when you go in a wine cellar, you usually find wine sitting like set into the wall itself. And with the barrels, you can have a full block above it and it still opens. So this is really neat. Once again, you're going to want to put the blocks that you use most often right towards the entrance. So I use a lot of oak, spruce and dark oak in my current world at the moment. Um, so I'm not going to put jungle and acacia right here at the entrance. I'm going to put those towards the back. So keep that in mind when you're planning your storage facility. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the same idea right here and we're just going to add it to other places in the storage facility. So we're going to put a bunch of barrels right here. We're going to put a bunch of barrels over here. So what this does is it gives us more room on the inside of our storage facility. So if we really need to put some more barrels on the floor, we can do that as well. I'm, so what I did in the back wall over here is I did put some barrels. And then I also put in crucial items such as a smoker um, and a furnace. So what we can do is after we go caving, we can just throw some food in the smoker. We can throw some iron. Uh, into the furnace, etc., uh, etc., et and get that smelted up immediately. One other super important part of a storage system is labeling where things are. So here I'm going to put my iron. So I could use a sign if I want to. Alternatively, for the little bit of a fancier approach, you can do something kind of like this, denoting that this barrel holds all of our gold. Uh, if you have this most gold, good on you. So the problem with this is there's a, only this amount of the barrel that you can actually right click on. Otherwise you just turn the ingot in the, <laughs> in the item frame itself. Whereas the sign can get a lot more use. It's just hard to read the, uh, the black text there, but you can use a little bit of dye. It makes that a little more readable. Uh, you can do white, but you know there's some other dyes that you can put on there as well that might make it a little easier to read. Uh, woo, that's a very stark contrast and might hurt some people's eyes. <laughs> yeah, this place is starting to come come together pretty well. Uh, it's definitely missing some back here, uh, so let's do a little bit of that. Um, and I think we might put some over here as well. A couple more barrels. Uh, I might set some up. Yeah, I like that. Uh, so let's do this the same on the other side. Uh, I might switch this out with that. And we can do this and uh, this again. And the reason I want to put these guys facing that way is because I'd love a way up and down uh, this without having to jump. So let's put a couple of staircases here. There we go. That doesn't look half bad. And right in the middle, remember how he had this guy here? I think right in the middle we might, uh, let's see, if we do boom, boom, and then maybe we'll put this guy here, the grindstone. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, so this is coming together pretty well. So we've got our, uh, our stone pieces over here that aren't these essential stone pieces. We got some wood here. Um, in my survival world, I put the rest of the wood over here. Let's see, it, there's there's six wood, so oak, spruce, dark oak, jungle, acacia. What's the one I'm missing? Are there six? Birch. Yeah, nobody uses birch. No, I'm kidding. It's a beautiful block. <laughs> so the only thing, and then this can just be miscellaneous uh, odds and ends. So the only thing that this room is really missing is some block variation. So let's get on that. All right, the first thing I think we're gonna do is we're gonna throw in kind of these uh, these support beams here. Um, these add a little bit of depth. They also add a bit of, let's do another moss here. They also add a bit of, I don't know, quote unquote realism, I guess. Um, just saying that, you know, this roof is being supported <laughs> although it looks like there's nothing in the middle you could put a, a, a pillar here if you felt like it needed a little bit more structure and maybe one here as well but uh, hey it's Minecraft these blocks aren't gonna fall but in the walls what we're gonna do is we're gonna just you know add a little bit of stone brick maybe some cobblestone every now and then make it look like uh, it's breaking the walls are, are breaking under the pressure whoops we clicked on one of the barrels there 
Uh, we'll add some uh, some moss as well because you know you've got to love your mossy bricks here. Um, add a cracked stone brick there. Just uh, do a little bit of uh, texture variation. I wouldn't go too hard. That way, it still looks like you know you're built into the foundation here of this actual structure. So you built it right on the stone. Um, and we'll put uh, let's put a piece of andesite, uh, maybe a couple over here. Uh, and then out in the front here, what I've done is I got rid of these blocks. And again, this is just to add a little bit of depth and some block variation. And I believe I got rid of these as well. And I put uh, some mossy stone and some stone brick. So that way you can just walk right up and out of this place here. And if I could grab a slab, uh, let's do a mossy slab because I love moss. So now you can just walk right up in and out of this place. And again, what we're going to do is just add a little bit of block variation in here. Uh, make it look like this place is sort of sort of old and rustic. But uh, you can add your own variation depending on the structure that you're building. And now what I'm doing here is I'm adding some sort of like cellar entrance way. If you've ever seen those before. Um, they so the, the the issue here is the stairs we need uh you know enough blocks here where it's not going to uh look like it's caving in around us uh let's see i lost my stone brick slab here it is all right so what i originally did out here is uh in my world is i put uh spruce traps doors here so it looked like it was just covering this hole up and i gotta be honest i didn't like it at all so this is kind of the sort of thing that I went with. It looks kind of like a tomb, but eh, beggars can't be choosers. So now what we've got is our own little functioning wine cellar in Minecraft using our new barrel features and a couple of the other new blocks as well. It's a great little starter uh, storage system, just uh, something to keep you uh, organized in the early days of Minecraft. So. Uh, yeah, I really hope you all liked this tutorial. Uh, hit a like, uh, hit the like button if you did, and make sure to subscribe as well. Uh, keep up to date on all of my other tutorials, as well as the crazy shenanigans that we're getting on with the uh, nation's world that I have running right now. But uh, I hope this was informative, and we'll see you all in the next tutorial. I've been Thrallish, and uh, we'll see you all later.